So, game two of this best out of three that I started covering last night, along with Cricket Starcraft. Thank you so much. Awesome caster, very deep insights to the game, and I really like his casting style. You guys should take a look at him when you have the chance. But uh, like I was mentioning, this is going to be game two of this series, taken from DreamHack Summer 2011. Another battle between these two awesome players, this time here on Crevasse. With this Red Terran spawning on the top left position, it's Virus Nama, player from Finland, one of the top in uh, um, playing in Europe, one of the top Terrans, but uh, he's been kind of a bit castaway set on the side, he hasn't been showing up as much on the top European scene and on the big events, big live events, though he plays frequently on online tournaments and so on, um, and he's going to be duking it out against one of the top bosses from North America, it's going to be this blue zerg spawning on the top right position here, E.G. Idra, member of team Evil Geniuses, one of the most solid uh, Zergs playing outside of Korea, in my opinion. A very mechanical, very macro-oriented, but very exquisite on his micro as well, as you might imagine. And well, they're going to be duking it out here for our delight for the second time. And as we all know, for the ones that don't know, I'm going to spoil the result for you right now. So better go take a look at, your, at game one. Um, because Idra is losing 1-0. Nama was able to pull a win on that game one with a big strong push early on and Idra actually didn't have much to defend. I was a bit surprised to see uh, um, Nama go that all in. It felt like all in as she had a lot of SCVs that he threw on the front line to get blasted away while he advanced it with his forces towards Idra Natural Exo. But it worked, he just broke Idra in and took the victory there, meaning that um, Idra now needs to win here or else it's gonna be bye-bye and the series will be over for Idra. So um, he's gonna focus, I'm sure, and try to show Nama, who's boss, that he has a word to say on this matchup. So following this uh, openings here for both players, as you could see, we do have Idra going for hatch first, Interesting or not, it's going to be on this back expo here, the most protected one, but with only one Vespin Geyser. But on this map version, as you can see, it's a rich Vespin Geyser, so pretty awesome and quite effective for the Zerg player, no issue whatsoever. As you can see, Idra goes straight ahead and grabs that one, instead of grabbing the ones that he even has on his main base. It's how good that rich Vespin Geyser is, and now taking care of his spawning pool. Meanwhile here on Nama's side, he's kind of a bit lost apparently, there it is the Marine trying to get that uh, drone before it passes, but seems like it's going to be able to escape, squeeze in its way towards his opponent's base, but now nah, he's going to get killed before he reaches it. So, drone killed, no scouting for Idra, and meanwhile here on Nama's side, he's getting that barracks, attaching a reactor to it, so I think we're going to have plenty of marines getting pumped out soon enough let's see where he's heading next i do see that's the scv and he's gonna grab the command center here on the expo in front of his main base bit more risky it's quite wide open very nice for zerg to get some nice concaves as you might imagine and get some long lines of uh, units just blasting away at everything standing on that area but still it's his decision nama probably is planning ahead of benefiting from a lot of gas that he might be requiring for later on on the game so like this is going to be able to have four vespin geysers idra as a zerg player is not very concerned with it at least for now for the early stages of the game so you went straight to that rich vespin geyser and he's going to be benefiting from the gas from there for quite a while. Now, inside Idra's base. For now, no signs of gas there, spine crawler getting up, so a bit of static defenses. He's just working out of this single one, which will provide him with plenty of gas, as you might imagine. Here on Nama's side, he went one racks into fast expand, kind of a bold maneuver, especially with uh, an expo this wide open, hard to defend, but uh, it's his decision, and I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. And he followed it with the factory, which he switched with the barracks, so he's now pumping out plenty of aliens out of that factory, and now getting the starport. Kind of a 1-1-1, one, 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 but uh, mixed in with that fast expo in the middle. And uh, now Nama finally gonna have two bases rolling, needs to send some workers there. While on either side, everything just fine. And uh, something that is troubling me and worrying me a little bit here is that you cannot leave a Zerg player just mockering all you want without having any kind of a RAS. And, well, Idra is one of the finest, so leaving him just do whatever he wants might be troublesome. He's now getting the rest of the gas on his main base, preparing the lair tech, so he might be making a quick transition into the second layer of Zerg tech. While we do witness the two, two aliens 
advancing here, climbing up that ramp that gives access to the main base of Hydra, but they're actually just hanging there. And Hydra already has several Zerglings here with speed, meaning that uh, these Hellions probably won't be very lucky. Zerglings with speed on creep, they're going to be just blistering fast and will be able to intercept any units that Nama might try to advance here. Here they come, nice around, just chewing down on one of the Hellions and now they're going to chew down on the second one, no chance. Look at how quick those Zerglings went through those, those two Hellions without leaving any trace of their existence. Seems like that Nama is trying to gain map control, getting this Zelnaga Watchtower con controlled here and massing up Marines and Hellions with now a Medivac showing up and apparently preparing a drop. His mineral lines are rolling just fine. On the economy, he's leading the way, though he has less harvesters. Uh, fairly standard for the Terran player. And now he's messing up a lot of racks here, as you can see, making another switch while that Medivac approaches the south side of the natural exo from Hydra. Here they come, but um, the... Uh, the um, Queen was waiting for him, and the Medivac will be just hanging here. Queen and plenty of Zerglings holding on there, so I don't think that Medivac will be very successful, at least not for now. And uh, like I was taking a look here on the main base from uh, uh, Nama, as you can see there's more racks, reactors, Tech Lab getting attached onto this factory, so after the Aras he might be planning to transition into fairly standard uh, uh, siege tank uh, marine unit composition. And now we're gonna have drops ensuing on both sides, one on the top of the main base from Hydra and another one here on the south side from the Natural Expo. And uh, this one was just a couple of aliens, they weren't even able to do any kind of damage, any sort of damage, and Hydra is just on the ball controlling everything, while Nama tries to expand again on the back of that harass, of that aggression. Command center this time here on this back base that supposedly would be his natural expo and here he comes all the forces from Nama he just unloaded that medivac and he's trying to advance here receding that creep spread killing the tumors and here he comes oh all of the forces from Hydra were trying to intercept the forces from Nama with the queen shooting in doubt and all of those marines got completely eaten away gnawed by those um by those uh, Zerglings, and it seems like that Hydra now, with his Mutalist Queen, will be able to provide a nice air coverage, and it's gonna be able to thwart any kind of aggression made with Medivac's drops, or any kind of air harass ensuing into his bases. Incoming, all of those Mutalists enter here, the natural expo from Nama, with the Zerglings backing it up. Will the Zerglings go to the main base? No, they're just trying to duke it out here against the SCVs on the expo from Nama. They're just eating away the worker production that Nama was trying to assemble. And now these Mutalists are just gonna be able to back up the ground forces. And it seems like that the Hydra is just sending more and more units, plenty of Zerglings, they're gonna be able to just chew down all the forces here on this expo, there's nothing left to defend, a single missile turret won't be enough, and the Zerglings just completely destroyed the economy from Nama, forcing Nama to GG out of this match. Quite a quick match, plenty of aggression here by Hydra, a nice push, well-timed, on the moment that um, Nama had his uh, expo here on the back, on this uh, base on the back of his main, uh, tried to establish it and invested a lot, so he didn't have much of a defense, 